and welcome back to another episode of It's Food, Dude. So, I finally got the winner of the giveaway, and, and I will give the name of the winner later in the video. But today, I decided to make a pork cake, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the Star Wars movie is out, and it's totally amazing. I actually just got done watching it. As you can see, I got my Star Wars shirt on, and it was amazing. And I'm not going to give too much away, but Yoda was in the movie and I was so excited. And that's all I'm going to say. So yeah, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the pork, which is like this super cute creature in the movie. And I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put my cake on a cake drum. All I did was bake a one layer 8 inch cake and to do that, to take it out of the pan, I'm just using my knife and I'm just going to tap the sides and then put it on my cake board. When most cakes bake, they end up having a hump in the middle, so right now I'm just trimming that with my serrated knife. And you can always trim it to your desired length or width or whatever the case is. I also bought this buttercream frosting from Michaels because I didn't feel like making mine from scratch and this cost $10 with a coupon but it'll last a while. You want to use a side icer because that's going to help you ice your cake. I'm not going to crumb coat my cake because I like using a side icer because it's way easier. So once your bag is full just pipe alongside of the cake and then just squeeze an even layer. What you want to do is kind of rest your side icer against the cake but not completely touch it and then just gently go across the cake. And you're going to do the same thing with the top of the cake. Just continue to ice it and just finish until you've covered your entire cake with frosting. So using a spatula, I'm just going to go across the sides of my cake because I want to make sure everything is level. And that's just going to make it easier for when we use our um, side icer to wipe the excess frosting off. So straight up and down, I'm just going to use the sharp flat side of my icer and then I'm just going to go across the sides of the cake to make sure everything is nice and smooth. As you ice the cake, you want to make sure to wipe the excess frosting off using your bucket. With a flat edge spatula, I'm going to go across the top of the cake and then I'm just going to take the excess frosting off. You want to start at the lowest point and then kind of bring in the spatula so that you're removing the harsh edge and making everything nice and even. This is what your cake should look like. Just remember it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, to make pork, what I did was just Google a pork drawing and then I'm just going to copy that and I'm just going to use my wooden skewer to kind of draw out an outline. But like I always tell you guys, you can always print one out online and then kind of just trace the outline that you printed out online. That way it's like super easy for you to follow what I'm doing. So now I have my outline and I'm going to start with the gray frosting and I'm just going to trace my outline that I have so I can see which colors are going to go where and what I'm trying to do for my design. Okay so right now I have like the arm all done so right now I'm just squeezing in my gray icing and I'm going to do that on both sides because he has a really fat body and I'm using a little flat edge spatula to kind of like flatten that out. But you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can always just nicely pipe it in there. That way you don't have to use a small spatula. Now 
towards the top, I'm also going to pipe some more gray frosting because he has gray hair up there. And I'm just kind of just going to touch it a little bit with my flatted spatula to kind of get that hair look. And I've also got my orange buttercream frosting and I've got a grass tip on it to make it look like hair. And then I'm just going to pipe that towards the top of the face and towards the sides and just kind of make sure I leave enough space for the and now using a number four tip I'm gonna pipe the little legs at the bottom and I'm just gonna fill that in and also at the bottom of the legs make sure you pipe some toes as well With black buttercream, using a number 5 tip or a number 4 tip, pipe an oval shape big enough to look like pork's eyes and fill it in. And for the nostrils, you kind of just want to pipe little dashes underneath the gray line and then for the smile, just pipe an upside down U. Using the black buttercream with a number 3 piping tip, I'm just going to finish drawing out the rest of his body and then I'm also going to pipe black toenails and yeah I'm just going to outline the rest of his body. With the number two piping tip, also make sure to pipe the white pupils in his eyes. And here's our poor cake. He's so cute and adorable. It's not your bubble and burst. Thanks everybody for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a fat thumbs up, a juicy thumbs up. You can comment below. I will answer any questions you guys have. You can subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff. And for the winner, the winner's name is... Dun, da, da, da. Only four people entered the giveaway, which like I said, I told you guys only a few people ever enter, so you have a really good chance of winning. But thank you everybody who did end up entering the giveaway, and I will definitely be doing more of those in the future, and thanks for watching. Bye! And I'm going to stay warm, and you guys should stay warm too, because it's freezing out here! Yeah.